in California right now, just over 60 games into our tour, and we are in a tight race with party animals. So we want to get the guys some much needed rest. That way they can stay focused and take care of business on the West Coast. We play hard on the field, but you know, out here with excursions, we love the banana lifestyle to Yes, we do. From seven to nine, most nights we're enemies, but here, hey, baby. Yeah, we're friends. we love each other. So during the winter time, we'll get like, like 30 to 50 foot waves in there. And then that's the Santa Cruz boardwalk over here. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. We exist to make baseball fun. That's where everything started. So Banana Ball was born. This is Banana Land. It is game 61 of the 2023 Banana Ball World Tour. The first ever game in California. We come to you live in Rancho Cucamonga. The Bananas claim the first game in Rancho, tying up the series with the party animals at 22 wins apiece. On night two, the Nanners had special guests, former major leaguers Brett Tomko and Josh Reddick, as well as Kenji Sugiya of the Nippon Professional League in Japan. After a riveting nine innings, Ryan Cox secured the win with a miraculous 99th trick play on the tour and gave the Bananas their first lead over the party animals since opening night. Hey, not turning back. It's nice because we've been behind this whole tour and we finally got ahead of the party animals. It just goes to show that it's a long tour and, and anything can happen when we're out here playing banana ball. Cucamonga with the Savannah Bananas looking for a clean sweep. All eyes on Ryan Cox. Only one trick play from becoming the first player in Banana Ball World Tour history to triple digits, the big 100. This one is going to be bounced under the diving attempt of Danny Hosley. There it is! The 100th trick play on the tour for Ryan Cox, the glove magician. And all of the team is going to go out and get Ryan Cox some hugs. First player in Banana Ball history with a hundred trick plays. That was awesome. Really cool with the organization to put that together. Can't really wrap my head around it right now. All I'm focused on is hopefully seeing these fans have three wins. So, the plane of joke on Jesse saying that we're in an earthquake warning. Everybody's in on Jesse's freaking out. The earthquake's 50 miles out. It's slowed down a little bit. So we got a little time if you can go fast. I'm like, hey, man, this is a little bit too nervous for me. We're taking a little bit too far. We just can't have them announce it to anybody out here so it percolates because then we don't want to stampede, but um, it's going to be interesting to see where this goes. It's going to be fun. Yeah. You know what they're talking about. Right now. You know, I'm talking to you off the camera right now. What's the magnitude? Does anybody know the magnitude? I saw a 6.4 magnitude on the news this morning. We need more information. What a way to finish up what has been three games with the party animals here in Rancho. The fate of this ball game and the chance for the bananas to sweep Rancho Cucamonga now lies in the hands of Eric Jones Jr. Malachi Mitchell pinch running for Dakota McFadden on second. That one, an easy pitch to call. Delano gives the Bananas a sweep here in Rancho Cucamonga. They have won the first three games of six here in California. Pretty good win for the boys. 
uh, I asked Jesse there at the end, I'm like, hey, so what's going on with this earthquake? Should we be like worried? Should we do a plasma party? And he was like, Byro, if we're in danger, they're gonna let us know. I looked him right in the eye and I'm like, Jesse, I'm not even worried, not one bit. And uh, that's it. So now he's running off, he's probably going to talk earthquakes and uh, he'll, get, he'll get the good news. I texted my dad. I was like, Dad, we're gonna have to call this game because of an earthquake. He goes, you've got to be kidding me. I go, yeah, it's happening. Look at this crap. I was like, dude, I don't know what we're gonna do. How big is it gonna be? How long is it gonna take? And you gotta get stills in the game. I was in the seventh inning, so the fans get stills. Oh my God, I'll get him in. I'm, I'm literally him adjusting him the game because of a fake earthquake. I don't know what you're doing. I'm getting these graphs of like, earthquake. <laughs> you know what that is? That's a decibel meter. That sounds. I don't know. <laughs> You know all about this. Zach told Chad right before our interview, if Jesse asked about the earthquake, you have to tell fans it's fake. Yeah, correct. Because then it would have gone public. Mayhem in California. Mayhem. 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 Taking their tour to California. <laughs> yeah, good to see you, man. So it's great to be here, reunited with Eric Burns. Last year, he's on tour with us. He just brings a whole different level of enthusiasm and excitement and lift to the show. And in, and he loves Banana Ball. He loves what we're doing. He's super supportive. And that's really amazing to have somebody as decorated as Burnsy, playing at the highest level for a very long time, yeah. supporting us. Uh, it's been an absolute joy to watch this thing grow. So it, it is crazy the influence that you guys have had on the overall baseball world. And I could truly say that about 18 months removed from this thing now, looking at what you guys have created, it's fucking genius. Uh, all right, boys, let's get into rehearsals. We're short on time. Uh, Burns, we got live interviews with you, so we'll have it go through the full house as well. Everything in my mind is sort of fair game. For example, like Bill Leroy strikes out. Yep. He's walking back to the dugout. Yep. Boom. Bill, two two slide in the dirt. What were you thinking? You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. like just, yeah. just impromptu moment, short, yep. quick, done. Yep. yep. On to the next one. Hey, he's throwing on Saturday. He knows. He's good, man. Get you, get you out, man. Let's go. I've been just his last inning. Yeah. We have to make it dramatic. Well, lately, I've been going nine innings. So whenever you want to get in, we're pushing it. Seriously? <laughs> CG? I went eight the other night. But... Yeah. That's awesome. I'm, I'm fired up. The exterminator, like, <laughs> the longevity, I, I wasn't sure. Hey, and, and, he, and he's back. How you doing? How you doing, sir? Fluke. Fluke. What's up, brother? Nice to meet you. Brandon, you man. Brandon? Nice to meet you, Bob. Nice to meet you. So, Uke's my neighbor in Tahoe. Kevin Euclid, Red Sox legend. Hey, you want to throw the first pitch that counts? The what? First pitch that counts. What's that mean? That's what PD did, because he didn't want to play. But basically, you throw it first pitch, but it actually counts in the game. So there's no ball, hit or anything. If it's, if it's a ball, ball it's the count. The they hit or start a ball, <laughs> or it's a strike. Out. Sure. All right. I appreciate you, man. Seriously, thanks so Good much. Luck. Thank you. This is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> you got Bill Lee just stretching in the middle of the yeah, board. Is that Bill? Bill Lee. <laughs> I can't believe you're still doing it. Damn. <laughs> I'm on the DL, the dead list. <laughs> I'm gonna Are you nervous? Are you nervous about your big debut on the banana ball? No. 2023? Mm -mm. Yeah. Dude, that's a little too confident, man. Dude, if you're too confident, you're dead. from the folks here. Those are yous. And he just misses the inside corner. It will be a 1-0 count on Reese Hampton to start the ball game. So we welcome in at
as special a guest in the booth as we have ever had. It is Mr. Eric Burns. Dudes, I have missed each and every one of you. I, I don't even know what to say about that dirt squirrel you got perched <laughs> on your upper lip. Burns, it is, it's an honor to be in the booth with you, man. It's so glorious. Uh, throw down to second. Oh! Idol. What a pop slide. He evades the tag from Dalton Malden. He's in there. <gasps> that was incredible. Let's take it another look here. I guess he just popped off to the left and he's safe. And now you got the leprechaun up. Justin Baber, the second baseman, lines that one into center field. Lido getting the wave around third. Throw from DR Meadows comes into second. And the party animals up one in the all important points category now lead the second inning by a run. And here we go, boys. Ball driven deep. It's going to be over his head. Is it out? See ya. Oh, Baird his first home run on the 2023 Banana Bowl World Tour. It walks off the third inning, a two-run blast. This is a guy that I used to chuck tennis balls at as hard as I can to get him to shorten his swing. Endless hours in the batting cages. I'm so freaking proud of him. I was one ball smoke. Smoke. Burns is my lucky charm. He comes back for one game, and first pitch I see, he's out of here. So, Burns, my good luck charm. Love you, Burns. So now you're gonna be a first ever on-field reporter. Quick sound bites, like quick. Oh, right cool. Yeah. Fans of this time, please welcome former Oakland A's star and former Savannah Bananas head coach, Gold Glove Award winner, Eric Burns. <laughs> he's gonna be the first ever. Field reporter, actually on the field, Burnsy, here we go. Hello, San Jose! Yo, I spent last year in Savannah, and for us to be able to bring it back here to you is a special night for me. We'll have some fun with this in-game broadcasting, but how are you guys enjoying it so far? Do you know Cox got his 100 trick plays yesterday? Yeah, you heard about that. It's insane. I was watching the other night. So this is Joe right here, right? Oh, got him. How about that? Here, here, here. Get him. What happened? Trying to get it back for the boys. A little bit too aggressive. See ya! <laughs> The question of what happened, just leaving it that is so good. It's so simple. What happened? One, two now on Bridges. Bridges plunked, and the potential inning winning run is aboard. Bill, uh, were you hitting him intentionally there? Very unintentional. Um, what pitch was it? Change up, which is like the lamest pitch to hit someone with. Yeah, exactly, boring. <laughs> And now two men in scoring position for the dangerous Reese Hampton, who cashes in. Swanee scores easily, a cuff on his heels. They are struggling with the ball. Hampton scampering towards second. And he's out. The party animals have challenged the call. I have a feeling Burnsy is gonna give his commentary on this challenge. I got him around this tag right here. I don't know if we're going to get a good view. After further review, gonna, gonna, the ruling on the field is... There we go. Runner is safe. It's always helpful when you have Burnsy getting Reese Hampton telling us that he was never tagged. The Bananas one out away from winning California. And it's going to be the best hitter on the tour. A guy who spent three years in the Tigers minor league system, Matt Malatesta, gets him swinging. Win San Jose, three runs to two. I thought it was amazing. Couldn't be happier to be back. It's just great to see the guys more than anything. I think the game's progressed. I think the game's gotten better. It's everything and more than I thought it would be. To watch it from this side was different. The vibe and the energy and what's created on a consistent basis is insane. The number one, the MVP of camp, and said it back then, say it again, most talented kid here. That's why no one realizes. <laughs> uh, never mind, you guys do. Hey. Oh. Hey. 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 Hey, glad you made the bus. John Talbert, a chaplain for the Oakland A's, reached out. He's a huge fan and wanted to host the Bananas and the Party Animals for a dinner at his home. 
no way my fat ass gets on that swing. <laughs> they entertain all the time. Might be nice to be entertained every once in a while. I know how long the season is, and I know it, it, sometimes it's just a grind. And we were like, hey, if we can do something that serves you guys, because you guys serve so many people with the joy of what you do with Banana Ball, it means a lot to us. So thank you for joining us. And it is Mr. Adam's birthday. Yeah. 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 This group of people right here, every single one of you, there's nobody I'd rather spend my birthday with. You guys give me so much energy and happiness to be able to do what we get to do for all the fans out there. But honestly, I love you guys so much. Thank Happy you. birthday, dear Adam. Happy birthday to you. OK. Happy birthday. Thank you, John. Great prayer. Love that. Yes, sir. <laughs> Being with the Bananas somewhat at the beginning of the world tour stuff, it's kind of like watching a kid grow up, I guess. And it's pretty cool to see this growing up in a hurry. The 35 and 25 Bananas looking for a clean sweep of California. Sacramento, another sold out crowd. I think we had 13,000 plus. Super enthusiastic, energetic. We had Eric Burns join us again, Josh Reddick, and Hunter Pence. Benz now coming to bat, riding in from left center field, a four-time Major League All-Star, and a two-time World Series champion from your San Francisco Giants. Please welcome Hunter Pence. Resounding round of applause. He spent parts of three seasons playing here for the Sacramento River Cats. That one bounced through the right side. Hunter Pence has done it. He walks off the third inning. Nanners lead two to one. The cool thing about having Pence join us is he just leaned into everything that he did. Hell yeah. Oh, dude. Sacramento turning out, man. Oh, I knew they would. It was a tight game, two to one, and then all of a sudden. Oh my gosh. The Sutter Health Park just lost power. The speakers here in Sacramento are working. The scoreboard goes out. Half the power in this entire neighborhood goes out. So, like we always do here in Banana Land, we adapt it. Players run up into the stands and signed autographs and photos. Power was out for about 30 or so minutes, and then it came back on. We're back to banana ball. Are you kidding me? We have lights. We have baseball. It's a great way to resume our banana ball game. The at bat started with Fluke throw one behind me. I took two steps this way, but I'm still within the box. Apparently, Vince said no, calls it 1 1. I fouled two pitches off. One of them was a changeup. I turned and hit it towards the banana dugout, and I got head coach Tyler Gillum in the midsection. This is a thrilling rematch. Sean Fluke with the final game between the Bananas and Party Animals in 2022 on the line. Struck out Eric Burns on a 12-6 curveball. Cut and a miss! Sean Fluke owns Eric Burns! Oh my gosh. Burns is not happy about it. Sean Fluke's just laughing it up. <laughs> Burns, hey! He requested my fur coat. Well, I obliged. I had to give it to him. 0 for 2 with two punchies against the exterminator. Oh well. So what? Now what? Onward and upward. <laughs> How close? I got a whelp right here. It looked like it hit you square, bro. Four minutes later, we were playing baseball again, and then the lights went out yet again. So uh, we finished with yellow and our grand finale, and then just finished our plaza party. The Nanners win the first ever shortened banana ball game. Now here we are. Right. Nice. However much longer later. You know, in the next year, we get freaking big league stadiums, bro. Yeah. Love you, man. Love you too, bro. 
We love you guys, Sacramento. Draw safe tonight. See you soon. Wrapping up here in California, we'll adjust and, and get ready to take on the Northeast. Perfect. Good lighting, too. <laughs> 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 What's this been like for you, this journey? We've been coast to coast now here after 70 games to be in New York City. People from all over the country are traveling to see this little small team we started in Savannah, Georgia, so it's pretty special.